All right, I'm back out of here again. My uh, new B trim piece came in. This thing's brand new. It's polished. It's pretty. So I got that new trim piece on from where I fucked it up with a torch and kneel on these welds. So uh, now it's time to uh, do these door panels. And I'm gonna I'm gonna first put the speakers in on both sides. And then uh, once I get the speaker holes in, I think I'm going to put a piece of aluminum in here and then and then uh, get this thing cut free and bolted to that panel. And then after that, I'll fit that aluminum piece. And uh, But anyway, as soon as I get done with these door cards, I can put the whole cab together, finish the dash. Put the seats back in, put the windows back in, and I'm out of this cab. Finally, I can start doing some cool body work on the outside. All right, wish me luck. All right, so the box comes with this ring with this one. It's actually part of the box. I'm going to cut these perforated holes in the ring out, and I'm going to transfer it on the door cards and get them cut out. All right, so I got, I used the rings that come with the speakers and I got them laid out on this door. I'm gonna go lay them out on the other door. And then uh, my window comes down through here. I've already checked that, so my regulator is in the middle of this. And I might have to change the Lexine shape on the window, but it'll be okay. I, I put them down as low and out. And I got, I think I got enough room my hand can clear <clears throat> running the door crank. Everything is really tight in here, so it is what it is. So I've marked all the holes. I use my whole um, gasket maker kit to punch the holes where it said the screws were going to be, and I've got everything mounted, you know, marked. So now I'm ready to uh, cut the doors and put the speakers in. All right, I got all three holes cut in this door, and I got all the spots I'm gonna drill and then put my uh, inserts in for the stainless bolts and weld them on that door panel. I'm ready to drill all the holes now and then weld those inserts on, and then I can put the, put the speakers on the door. Okay, so I drilled a hole with the drill bit Out of the drill, so I drilled a hole there and then um, just jigsawed the hole out of the door. I'm gonna repeat it on all the holes and then drill and mount the speaker mounts. All right, so I take these T nuts and I use my vice grips over there and a grinder, and I, I just <clears throat> Grind the prongs off if I ever get one out of here. So that, that little metal piece there, I grind it off. What that allows me to do is to drill the holes and then have threaded bosses in the panel. Now I'll tack weld them on and grind them. And uh, I'll have threaded bosses for all the speakers to go on inside this panel. I need to get the speakers on and then I can shape the aluminum panel that I want in here because I you know you're constantly grabbing for this door handle I, I want a piece of something that can be polished or replaced instead of paint around these areas so we're gonna put an aluminum insert in here and once we figure out where the aluminum insert is and this is going to be shaped to this piece off the dash. It gets mounted. It's going to get mounted with these inserts too here in a minute. And then um, after that, I'll, I'll figure out the bead roll that's going to come and probably stop in here somewhere. Just, you know, kind of mimic how the 55 Chevy door was. It was just kind of a C. Just a C. So we're going to 
we're going to do that and just put a bead roll in there and then it'll be painted aluminum insert you know and all the door speakers I, I think it'll be cool enough all right so i welded and then ground them so now i got threaded balsas in there and I'm using the stainless machine screws to bolt it to the door pretty easy all right so i got the speakers mounted on both doors <clears throat> now i need to come in here and make that a dash mount and then get this piece onto the door and i can start working on the other stuff all right i welded the lower dash mount support in there's a bolt in there and this will be the lower support now there's a rubber seal that has to go through here so there needs to be enough room for that door stripping to be able to get on this edge but now that i got this thing solid i've been i've left it open so as the dash welded by warping i could bend it back to where i want this long point to go on the door but now that all the dash welding is done <clears throat> i'm able to put the lower mount in and now I'll, I'll get this hole out here I got on the door panel bolted up and I'll be able to cut this free make the end cap of the dash make the end cap of this piece and then bring it out here and bolt it onto the door all the way so it opens and shuts with the door on both sides once I get these pieces actually fixated to the door where they need to be then I can um, work on doing the other stuff, the inserts and pat whatever pattern I'm going to do to the door skin. All right, so I've uh, made mounts and welded them. See those two bolts there. And I got that welded onto the door, and then I got the end cap made for the dash. The other side's done too. So now the uh, insert goes or you know that da the end dash piece because one part goes to the door and the dash stays in so shut my cord so you can see now that closes the other side's done too so walk over there and show you that but we're coming along getting to where I can actually know where the speakers are and that piece for the dash on uh, start working on the door panels so I got that where it'll break away I got that one where it'll break away and I got these speakers put in this weekend so we're coming along here well, I got that new trim piece, too. That B piece is it's brand new since I ruined the other one that came in. All right. Well, you like this kind of stuff. Oh, I got that fuel gauge put in, too. If you like this kind of stuff, you know, like and subscribe or whatever. All right. You have a good one. All right. So this is the driver's side. You can see it's capped off there. So you see the passenger side over there. So anyway, let's be